So the first um, stereotype that I was pinpointing in um, ads was the fact that women cooks and men work. And we saw what happened with Makina, that she wanted the oven to be okay for her brother who likes to cook. And uh, we saw that Top Toy changed also the color of their toys and tried to make them gender neutral. And yes, Riley helped us understand that kids do realize what's happening. For the next topic, I'd like to have you pay attention to how women are used as sex object or what people call how women are sexualized. Right? And I think this uh, advertisement for Gucci is quite representative, uh, at least to me. I found that the woman looks like a sexual toy or slave to the man up there. Um, the, the feeling I get, why I get that feeling is connected to how much of her breasts we see and the fact that yes, the man is also bare chested. So there's a heavy sexual connotation in this um, ad for Gucci. But what worries me most is what is happening for little girls. I am quite surprised to see these dolls nowadays, uh, meaning that when I was younger, I don't recall at least having dolls that looked so womanly. So yes, again, the idea that they're being sexualized, right? making sexy so that men would pay attention to them. So I guess here you can see it's the, the heavy makeup that I guess is giving me that impression. Well, thanks to a wonderful woman in Australia, these dolls have a before and after life. Yes, believe me or not, this is the same doll. This is what the doll looked like when it came out of the factory. And this is what she uh, makes of them once uh, she buys them used. Right? So she removes the makeup and makes them, well, I would say like normal looking people. In the next few slides, you'll see other examples of those before and after dolls. Enjoy! I don't know if you're as impressed as I am with what Sonia Singh, the wonderful woman from Australia, does, but I am really, really grateful for what she started. Right. And this is what she says on her website. I decided to restyle, right? So to change the style, the faces of the dolls by removing the factory paint from the dolls and repainting them by giving them make unders. Right? So usually people talk about makeovers when you supposedly improve yourself with more makeup, better haircut, and all these things. But here she talks about make unders, right? So make them look more natural, as she says here, and a more down-to-earth style. That, to me, is such a powerful idea, right? That the dolls children play with should look like normal people, not some superstar um, uh, retouched uh, people. Uh, and also she says, I seem to have triggered a global conversation about the suitability and style of some children's toys. Yes, she just posted those pictures to share with a couple of friends, but it got really big really quickly because I do believe that a lot of us worry about what we give um, children to play with, things that might either make them feel weird because they don't feel like they should be playing with it because it's for girls or for boys or toys that push them in the adult world when I believe they have plenty of time to become adults. <laughs> 